So this question looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question. I say that about all longer word problem questions. And all this strategy really means is that I'm going to be reading for the intent, with the intent of translating what I read into a mathematical equation or formula or a picture or something mathematical versus trying to remember what I've read. So the very first sentence here says the current density in a wire is defined as the current in milliamperes flowing through the wire divided by the cross-sectional area of the wire in square millimeters. So I'm going to say then that current, I'm going to say C is current. So this very first sentence is literally giving me a mathematical equation. I want to write it down. So the current, so the current density, so current density in a wire is defined as a current in, so in fact, I'm going to say CD for current density is equal to the current, which is in milliamperes flowing through the wire, divided by the cross-sectional area of the wire. So I'm going to just write down cross-section area, right, of wire um, in square millimeters. So this is the millimeter squared versus the unit for current is milliamperes, which is just little m capital A. So just keeping that in mind, the units might matter. Um, the next sentence says, what is the current density? So what is CD in milliamperes per square millimeter in a copper wire with a cross-sectional area of six square millimeters? So that means they've given me, they're saying, what is CD when the denominator is six um, square millimeters? So six, so the units are gonna work out fine. So I don't have to worry about that. Um, when a current of 15 milliamperes flows through the wire, so the numerator is 15. So they gave it to us in a reverse order, but that's why we wrote it down, right? I know current is in the numerator, so that's the 15. I know the cross-sectional area of the wire is the denominator, so that's 6. 15 divided by 6 looks like if I look at my answer choices, they look for, they're wanting a decimal or a whole number. So I'm going to go to my calculator and, and just do 15 divided by 6, and what I get is 2.5. So CD equals 2.5, and therefore the correct answer here is choice B.